see the most SDs with Pikachu. Yeah. Unless you're talking about a, a player like Esam. Like, I've seen Esam still SD from time to time, obviously, but he's Actually been playing the character for a decade. You yeah, know what I mean? So that's crazy. He knows all his quick attack angles and all that stuff. It's just, it's a very hard character to play. And you, there is still weaknesses in the character. Obviously, you have quick attack and disadvantage, which is, you know, you have the best disadvantage state in the game, which is amazing because in this game, pushing advantage state is so, like, volatile. So that's such a good thing to have in this game. But you don't have, like, a killing up air or like if someone's above you for the most part you can't like kill them with a rising aerial unless you're like doing a rising bear or rising fair at the edges of the stage like this now we're getting situational kind of thing but uh yeah i mean i, th I think the character is still really strong it, it, definitely in my top five my personal top for five for sure i don't see pikachu falling outside of the, the top five meet gunner oh, okay yeah it's just uh <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait, is that a me gun or Little Mac? That oh, wait, that's Justin. Uh, I think he's one of the San Diego players. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. I saw I saw Banjo. I definitely would love to see some Banjo. Of course, we're here at 2GG Congo Saga. So I want to see all the rare characters. I want to see Banjo, Diddy, Donkey Kong. Yeah, we're not seeing that. We're seeing me gun or Pally. Yeah. Man. Elegant, you had that, that cool Luigi mustache going on. I thought you were yeah. going to come in hot with the Luigi mustache. You really bro. disappointed a lot of people. At least uh, you got a picture of it. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> you guys probably saw Elegant's Luigi mustache and probably got really excited, but you know. <laughs> and if you it. haven't, check it out on Twitter. Yeah, at Elegant Matt. Anyway, Dang, so, you know it's uh, at, though. Damn. You, de you dedicated. I'm just saying. You dedicated. Though. I actually bro. don't know if that's his actual <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh dang, we got we got some controller issues. Uh, okay, Are we just gonna, gonna reset? Oh, okay. okay. Jay Money and Justin. Again, we're seeing Palu back in doubles. What do you know? Strong, Who would have guessed? Strong doubles character. Palutena. Of course. Mad good. Yeah. And I think Mii Gunner is. Palutena is also in my top five. All right, he's not in my top five. But really? Yeah. He's actually on my lower end of the top ten. We're going to have to have a talk after this, Shreds. I just, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to get into it. I already know it's, like, controversial. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think Me Gunner, wait, hold up. Is he All right, he's, got, he's going to Me Gunner. He threw me for a loop for a second. But, uh, yeah, I think Me Gunner is pretty good in teams. He's another one of those, like, pesky zoning characters that just makes it really hard to approach. But My thing about you also have Pikachu and Link, right. who like can just kind of subvert that whole strategy really well. Like Am right I? now, like Link in the front, Pikachu in the back, throwing the thunder jolts. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, one thing I, it's it can be tough, like it's possible, but when you're playing a projectile character in doubles, you just have to make sure you're not hitting your teammate. Because if you're inexperienced or you're not too good at it, sometimes you'll hit your teammate with a projectile and the enemy will like convert off of it or it'll kind of like mess up their neutral, right? Yeah, and then and your teammate's looking at you like, what the heck's wrong with you? Yeah. You know, he's costing my stock. Speaking of stocks, uh, Justin's already out of here. Jeez, he got man. immediately spiked by Inky. That was quick. Is, which is not good for them because he's supposed to be the zoning, like, hang back stock tank character. Right, He's right. already, like, dying first at early percent. Yeah, and I mean, that's really where Pikachu can get a lot of the stocks in this game, right? Is that offstage game. Pikachu, one of the deadliest characters offstage. You have an incredible recovery, so you can just go super ham offstage. And just so many, like, hitboxes to cover uh, yeah. their recovery as well. I want to say, like, if not top two, at least, like, top three edge guard potential in the game. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Is that two kills from Vins already? Man. Yeah, and that was an amazing punish on Vins. You're going to hit my teammate. You're going to pay the price. And right there, Vins with the optimal option of going for that F-Smash, the second hit and getting the stock. So uh, you called up Pikachu SD. You saw one from Inky. He was really close to the stage, too. That was kind of surprising that he just didn't make it back there. Yeah, you know what's you know it's crazy. The better you get at this game, the more creative your SDs get. That, that's a that's a general rule of thumb in the world of Smash. Oh my goodness, Inky! Inky just destroyed Justin's stock, even at the cost of his own. He did, of course, he did not need to kill himself there. He still could have made that back. But uh, that one was hard because he had to you either had to get the double up angle or he had to get like slight angle, like slightly up. You know what I mean? Like you had to get those two box angles. To, to get up there. Um, so it, it can be rough. He pretty much got kind of messed up by the FD lip there. 
Oh my. Whoa. Right? Inky's kind of nuts. Yeah, Inky <laughs> is definitely going in. You know what's crazy though? The only way he's lost his stocks is through himself. Yeah, he actually hasn't gotten killed yet. Oh, this down he smash actually here. sent him to the right. Wow. Yeah, he got the uh, drag down near down smash at the ledge. One, he could choose stronger kill confirms. And uh, yeah, Vins, man, he was hanging on that stock pretty much forever. Now we got to deal with this crazy 2v1. Bro, and the fact that Inky, Inky actually only does his stocks to SD. So, like, realistically, Inky should be, like, probably at two stocks right now. So, man, right now, blue team, they need to find an answer, and they need to find it quick because... Oh, yeah. Yep. He was already gone after that arrow snipe. Vins with the coverage up, down, all around. He got sniped with the arrow. Even if he was able to make it back to the stage, Vins had the up B on deck to cover it, and man, what a uh, what an opener. Yeah, that was actually, they only lost one stock as a team, like, to the other team. Yeah, dang. Yeah, kind of rough, but uh, if you love Europe, you, you, want, you want to see that. You yeah. love to see it. Yeah, they played incredibly well, and you can tell that, I mean, they, they definitely were covering each other as well, getting those punishes, and, you know, when you go lower level teams, it's mostly you're seeing like two 1v1s happen, but with Inky and Vins, you could definitely see them covering each other and stuff like that. Sometimes you actually, like there's situations where you can overextend because it's like, oh, hey, my teammate won over there and he's coming to help me. So I can like overextend for the stock and if I get punished by the other dude, like he's gonna lose his stock kind of thing. So it's, uh, that's why doubles can be really, really fun to play and watch because there's there's so much factors going into it and it just, are, it makes like, the, Smash is so diverse as is in, in terms of situations, it makes it even like crazier. Yeah, even as far as like character viability goes, uh, there's so many characters that may not be the best in singles, but when it comes to like teams, uh, they just kind of shoot up on the trailers. Right, and I mean, we we're talking about that with Ness. Ness is actually one of the better doubles characters in this game and, um, I, I wouldn't say he's bad in singles, but he's definitely not like a world-class character when it comes to singles. You usually don't see Nesses in like top eight and stuff of you know, you know S tier or A tier tournaments. All right, this is already a much better game for Justin. He is still alive at the one minute mark. He's not getting spiked immediately off stage. Right? Man, and blue oh. team is getting lit up right now, already in the red for both, and there oh goes God. one stock. He's only at 28. That means he got touched like twice. Yeah. And right now, blue team needs answers, and they need it quick because red team is just going in right now. They're yeah. getting so much damage. They're getting oh. these stocks, and man, look at that. They're not even at 60% yet. Yeah, no games being played at all from uh, Team Europe right now. I also got to appreciate how intelligently they're trapping both members of uh, the blue team in the middle. Oh, this yeah. guy's got to sandwich in between the Link and Pikachu hitboxes. Yeah, it's really tough. And I like how, um, okay, there's the bomb recovery. Vins will, like, throw his projectiles, like, higher, oh, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. You know, that was such a good spike. Oh, wait all a right. minute. All right, we got the charge shot snipe. Yeah, that was oh, good stuff. Right. And we got an SD. Okay. All right, slowly but surely, getting their way back into this game. Four stocks to three, though, and they are starting to take some damage on the return from Red Team. Oh, wow, hitting both characters right there. I didn't even know Charge Shot could do that from uh, from Me Gunner. Okay. Oh, wow, the, the fire actually detonating the yeah. bomb there. So Link's bomb, if any fire move hits it, it'll it'll just detonate it, yeah. as it should. Right. Yeah. Makes sense. You know, in the world of Smash, they try to keep it as realistic as oh, possible. Yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> One of the most realistic games I've ever played. <laughs> Ooh, try to get the punish there, but got Justin going right into the shield. And Link's covering some of the options with the bomb at the ledge. Yeah, that, that's, that's another great thing about Link. You see that ledge trap right there. He throws the bomb down, so it's bouncing in that normal get-up area. He can also hit you out of the ledge jump as well. It's just yeah. so powerful. And that, I mean, that, that's the one thing about setup characters, right? They, they do, it, it, they might be a little weaker on stage or in neutral, um, depending on like what kind of setups you have, but they're just, they're gonna be stronger in those situations where, oh, I have time, like, let me set this up, put this here, start trapping you. Combo here. Oh, back and J Money can back attack the center stage. King Pong back and forth. 
Yeah, that's the thing about doubles. When the team combos are on point, the upbeat out of shield is going to close it out. And they got one more to go. Team Europe just in control this entire time. Left, Ooh. right. Oh. oh, so close. I, I see you guys. I see you guys. You, you almost got the cherry on top. You almost got it. Oh, there's a the thunder for more damage. And I don't right. even know. My man's actually just trying quick, to hit him with up B now. Quick, right. quick attack. Definitely wouldn't have killed <laughs> off the top there. But you know what? A for effort. <laughs> We trying to style out here. Oh, with the bomb recovery, the tech on the stage, but the drag down there into the down smash, gonna finish it off here for Team Europe. Good right. stuff, and they'll be moving on in the winners bracket. I really see people uh, 